We are presented around to it. Kirsten Thompson, architects and BKK in collaboration. Um, and this project is very much delivered from the outset as a blank of the team, the approach. Uh, we'd like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri Boora people of the Kulin Nation on whose land this project sits. This project sits in Nambwadi. And you can see uh, Nambwadi, for those who don't know, eastern suburbs of Melbourne. And really, this project um, is it's one of the largest pieces of uh, cultural infrastructure investment by the city of Whitehorse in its history. And I think really representative of the changing nature of the suburbs and growth of these activity centres over the last 50 years. Uh, this is the project, so broadly the project comprises a performing arts centre, which is the, the shape you can see in the middle of the site, but also a whole, whole, whole precinct work, so we delivered car parking, um, a range of landscaping works and other um, sustainability initiatives throughout this precinct, so very much the precinct based master planning approach at the outset, and the building really forms a centrepiece, but it's a building that really is shaped and shapes its precinct. So uh, really a cultural heart for the city of Whitehorse and a really significant new institution for Whitehorse. So with this project, you can see it's on the highway and it's wedged between big box and residential. So we took this as a chance to try and mediate between them and resolve the problem of the big box, especially when it's in the round in public realm. So the found condition what was a very inactive building so instead, early thinking about how to work every single edge as activation but also placemaking opportunities. So um, here you can see in the round and the, the beginning of the formation of all of these edges to create different uh, in response to adjacent conditions, different opportunities, and also activate in each direction. So very simple, it's as if you take bites out of the form and you've got these varying degrees, larger to smaller landscape creations. And that just summarises these five conditions, uh, Eastern Forecourt connecting to the sports and car park, Northern Parkland to housing, the Nungnek Garden here, and Natural Amphitheatre, and then the Civic Plaza. So it's doing a lot of connecting. So just to take you for a walk around the round, and by the way, they named it the round. <laughs> Clearly what was going on and on about. Uh, so this is from the car park, and it's fair to say this is a very car-centric um, place, so there's no getting around car parking, it was a big consideration. The main uh, forecourt, this is where people hang out for events, then walking around to the eastern side, this is where the amphitheatre, sorry, western, southwest, this is the beginning of the amphitheatre space. Um, again, that space, and you can see how the building form is holding those areas and defining and working as outreach. And the magnificent silhouette of our um, golden roof, which is a little um, tribute to Sharoon, of course, with his fabulous um, Berlin Philharmonic. So walking around, you can see also the level of activation on those things. This is a park, the park, the park, and then to the northern facade, the green room, bringing that back of house space out into the park. Uh, again, the big fat satia or roof, is it a facade, is it a roof, and a way of navigating between the residential and the um, larger fly tower of the um, theatre space. The car park, uh, which is designed for multi-purpose activities too, could be a market undercover. Um, and then the sort of incidental use of the building, walking around, dog walking, as well as the sort of big events that happen inside. I'll, I'll jump in. So I guess in terms of sustainability, you know, there's a real focus on um, really in investing in the building at passive thermal, um, at passive um, ESD initiatives. So, shaded eaves, um, shaded facades, and really minimising the actual use of glazing and being very selective about where we locate those openings. Yeah. Um, so there's partly a sustainability um, drive for this, but also to, to curate these views. So we, we have these scholar building forms where they meet, they create these openings, which create these incidental moments and access into the building. So as suburban civic, as Kirsten alluded to, Hans Sharoon, I think we're really interested in this as being a really civic building and, 
having that um, civic quality and the roof, the Colourbond roof is really um, in instrumental to that. It's really effectively another facade, but also references back to the suburban and Edmund and Corrigan, and also memories of the art centre and the, the idea of the theatre as being this place of memory and um, the creation of memory. And it's, so it's somewhere a bit fancy, but also a sort of normal ordinariness to it as well in that aspect. And you can see the bricks, so the use of this striation and different brick patterns to create a banding, um, which effectively breaks down these significant sort of sculpt um, facades that, that form those public spaces. So this is the National Happy Theatre. That, that's, a, that's a studio theatre in there that opens up to the, to the outside. Um, within the building itself, though, there's, a, there's a range of different facilities within here. It's a proscenium theatre and a studio theatre are really the heart of the building, but the idea is that they each have their own expression within the overall building form, so it's not like you go into a floor plan and get lost. These, these elements are all visible once you come into the foyer, and this plastic foyer is really designed to be able to accommodate really peak, peak, um, peak use, but also downtime. It gets quite actively used by the community during the week. And then nice tension of smaller spaces, larger spaces, handling that flow of people. So the two main theatres, uh, that foyer, which sort of links them together, but also forms these diverse connections to outside. Back of the house is a significant investment. This building is really about performers and people who work in the building as much as the visitors. And there's a lot of attention given to the back of the house areas and providing natural daylight and humidity as well to those areas. And the administration, it's also a, it's a workplace. Upstairs, there are function, functions and events. There's a commercial kitchen um, and rehearsal spaces. So this building very much can be used by the community um, for small scale community uses, but also for significant major events. So it's been designed to be able to fire effectively with all, all spaces being used, but also um, elements being used discreetly. And that's it for the theatre. Studio theatre, so beyond that, that big door opens up to form a stage to the outdoor theatre. We reused an existing stained um, stand glass window from the original building. And some of these moments that this is an after hour stair for access up to those rehearsal rooms. And a bit of a bling, so some fancy bits in the bathroom just to create that yeah. sense of occasion. Just um, last of all, this idea that the building operates for the everyday, incidental use of it as you walk around, and in that sense, it's activation of the border precinct as a neighbourhood building, but it's also special occasions as well. So it has that formal and informal qualities. It can handle people dressed up to the nines for a big night, or it also is where people go and have coffee in the morning. So it's really a hard working facility for both formal and informal events, and that's quite important that it is maximising those different uses and for an array of community groups. So this is just showing you some of the different um, back of house spaces that see connected to outside. So it really is transforming that idea of the big dumb box and making it a much more civically generous proposition. Thank you.